Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, y'all. So, former NFL player Chad Wheeler, who was um, convicted of, um, uh, I guess I want to say, domestic violence, was sentenced to uh, 81, 81 months in jail. And he also received an additional 36 months of uh, probation. Now, the video or the pictures came out uh, a couple years ago of his girl. And they were very disturbing, you know, very disturbing what he did to that sister. And he deserves every bit of what he got. However, I went online today. And uh, I'm a little late to this because he was sitting a couple days ago. I seen 78 make a video. I seen two raw making video. I seen more independent people make videos. But where's the ESPNs? Where's the Stephen A. Smiths? You know, where's all these people that when Ray Rice do something or Von Miller do something, y'all will stop the program? Whoa, breaking news! And you got Stephen A. Smith on there from whether he in a studio, his iPhone. His computer, he's somewhere in, in the world going in on, on, on um, the people that look like Von Miller and Ray Rice. But when it comes to Chad Wheeler's, don't nobody say nothing. And then people are making excuses about, I'm looking, about mental health. And dude, no, we're not going to blame what you did on that because that is egregious, unexplainable. And we all have people in our families who have issues with mental health and you're supposed to take your medication and um, get the proper help that you needed. Because again, had he had been Ray Rice, nobody would even question his mental health. Now what Ray Rice did was disturbing. I do get that. Right. But I remember that they kept going on and 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 on about it. But when it comes to Chad Wheeler, don't nobody have nothing to say. When it comes to somebody like Josh Giddy, don't nobody have nothing to say. You know, when the Josh Giddy allegations came out, you didn't see them. Like, you had to basically force the mainstream media to talk about it. And that's what I, I, I can't stand. You know, they let you know. My bad, I got a call. They let y'all know where we stand or where they stand at. You know, they only pick with certain groups of people. But when we come online and talk about it, then we're, we're quote unquote, you know, race baiting and, and crying victim. No, I mean, it's blatant. Where was ESPN FS1 when it came to Chad Wheeler? You know, so my condolences to the victim. I hope he do all 81 months. You know what I mean? And I want to, I want y'all to keep the same kind of energy for everybody, but tell me what y'all think.